the first time I came out as questioning, I it was my 10th grade year, and I came out just to my friends because I didn't really know what I was feeling. At first, I came out as bi, as a sort of middle ground to keep myself in until I completely figured it out. I came out again to my mother in about 11th grade about questioning my sexuality and I've only come out to my father last October. At first my mother she kind of restricted my actions and she made me come home every day. I was attending GSA and I told her that and after I told her I was questioning my own sexuality she tried to stop me and she didn't directly say she disapproved, but I heard from other parties that she didn't like that I was going to GSA and she thought it was just turning me gayer and she thought that it was influencing my choices and that I wasn't really gay, but I was turning gay because I was going to GSA. GSA stands for Gay Straight Alliance and I am the president of it. I didn't tell my dad really until I completely figured it out myself. I tried to tell him before, like, I said something about having a girlfriend, but he blew it off just and ignored it and just said it was a phase and kind of just forgot about it. I remember when I tried to come out to him again and I said, you know, Dad, I think I like girls and I don't really like boys and I never really did and he kind of just got angry, blew it off again, went, got drunk, and then we never talked about it. I had already come out to my mother as fully a lesbian, and my sister and my mother had both been hearing me uh, complain about my father not accepting it and not realizing it, but uh, they told him, so I kind of finally had to face it, and we talked about it, and I kind of just blew up on him, and I said, Dad, I am a lesbian, whether you accept it or not, and I can't change who I am. And I, I guess it kind of just opened his eyes, and he said, okay, I believe you, and, you know, I don't hate you for this, but, you know, I want you to be sure that you are a lesbian, and it's okay if you're not, and it's okay if you turn back. And I said to him, I'm not going to turn back. I've thought about this so much. And he really started believing me when I brought home a date. And I introduced her to him. And he said he saw the uh, just glow in my eyes when I held her hand. And he finally just believed me. Yeah. When I started questioning, I was very homophobic toward myself. I didn't really believe myself, and I also thought it was just a phase, and I was just being silly, and I, I tried to convince myself otherwise. I started trying to get a boyfriend even more than I had before because it was kind of confirmation of that I was straight. And because I lived in West Jordan, I grew up around very homophobic people. I remember when I was little, I used to say things like, ew, lesbians are gross, and girls liking girls, that's just icky, and I, that's disgusting, and it's never going to happen to me, and I'm never going to be a lesbian. And when I got into ninth grade, I had a lot of homophobia because I got into a really bad crowd who were very unaccepting of homosexuals. And I kind of just had to hide it, and I kept trying to get the boyfriends. And but I always knew there was this underlining that I wanted the female aspect of love, and I wanted, and I had crushes on girls, but I never allowed myself to act upon it, even though I knew those girls were either bi or lesbians themselves. I just, I went through a period where I started self-harming myself, not cutting, but I would punch walls and fight with people until my knuckles bled. And I really just hated myself and I thought there was something wrong with me. And I just was so worried that 
nobody would love me if I turned out to be a lesbian and that I was just disgusting. I tried to commit suicide once. I had a razor and I tried doing it, but I just, I couldn't. I found too much to live for. Even though I wasn't that bad crowd, I had a good friend who was really against suicide. He's kind of what stopped me from committing suicide. He was my best friend and he was my hero and I thought I was in love with him for a while but I never really wanted to do those things with him like I did with another woman. Back then, I thought I knew myself but I really didn't. I was kind of living a lie. I, was, I put a mask on. I wasn't who I wanted to be but now I am completely who I want to be. I am that outgoing, happy person who loves to help people is nice to everybody, wants to get involved in the community, but back then I was completely selfish. And I was just this dark person who didn't see any light in the world, just hated everybody. But now that I've come out, I love everybody. Even if they hate me, I love them.